everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you could join me today. So I wanted to do a tutorial on, um, you know, back to school and doing a fun quick makeup look. Um, if you're in a hurry as a student for school or college, high school, a mom like myself that needs to hurry and get ready to, you know, go run errands, just anyone that's in a hurry, um, you'll like this look because it'll be quick and easy. Not many steps, but it'll still look gorgeous. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and if you'd like to keep watching this video, then keep watching. Um, I'm going to be putting on the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. I just can't get enough of this stuff. I just, it moisturizes my face so good, and it kind of smells good, and it feels refreshing on the skin it just feels so good so I'm gonna let that dry and then I'll put on the foundation okay so I'm gonna be putting on Maybelline dream liquid mousse I have they I have like a couple of foundations that I really like this one and the Smashbox one so that's why I just I'm always using those but um, there are some foundations that I'd like to try pretty soon so I'll do a video on those um so um this is this is a natural ivory 30. I'm gonna be using the Sigma Flat Kabuki F80 brush. Thought I would try a brush today, so I'm gonna put that and I'm just gonna pat it. I'm not gonna run it because or slide it, I guess. Whatever. I just don't want to have lines on my face. So, lately I haven't been really liking the brush because I feel like it just makes it so cakey for some reason. I don't, I don't know. As you can see, my skin has been a little crazy. I just don't think it likes me that much. I know this looks light, but we'll we'll even it out. Okay, now I'm gonna put on the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in light medium honey. Usually I wet my sponge, but we have no water in our house currently because we have a water leak, so. I think that's all that I'm gonna do for my face. So, now I will set my face for Mio London Stay Matte. Um, this is in Buff Beige 012, and I'm gonna take this Ulta Beauty brush, fluffy brush, swirl it around and just tap it on my skin. I know I put concealer on to brighten my under eye, but I'm going to take this NYX HD Finishing Powder in Banana and just set my under eye. Look up, because when you look up, you won't have those creases on your eye. So it'll help set it better. Okay, I will quickly do the brows. When I'm, when I'm in a hurry, I will just fill them in. And I'm gonna use this Tarte Rich Brown. This is the brown, or brow clay, and I'll just take this thick brush and just, I'll just fill in my brows. Now 
we're going to go on to eyeshadow. Um, so I think I'm going to use the Jaclyn Hill palette. And I'm going to take this Sigma E25. I need to clean it, I know. And I'm going to use this brush to set um, the foundation that I put on my lid. So I'm going to use... I'm going to use this third shade right here. I'm just going to set my eye. The first two shades are glittery and I don't want that. So that's why I'm taking this. It might seem darker, but it is close to my skin almost. So it's close enough. This Real Techniques brush. And I'm going to probably just do a couple of colors. I'm going to take this next shade right here and put that in the crease. I'm basically going to contour my crease so it just my eyes look more alive and not just bare. It'll just add a little bit of something. And when you're in a rush, you don't want to have to do a lot of steps for eyeshadow. That's why I'm just going to do these two steps. I'm going to take this brush that I used to set my foundation and take this shade right here and I'm going to put that under the brow to just kind of brighten that area. So I'm going to curl my lashes. And then I will use, I'm going to combine both of these together. So I think I'm going to use this one first and then this one. Sometimes I like to combine mascaras because sometimes they just work, some mascaras work really well together. So let me curl them and then I'll do the Essence Mascara next. Here it is. Lash Princess from Essence. Love this mascara. It would be a great for the bottom lashes, I think. And for some reason, I'm just a mess when it comes to putting on mascara, so I'll clean up the mascara that gets on my lid. I like to curl one lash at a time so the lashes are just precise and like curled because um, I just don't want them to kind of flatten out if I curl them and then move on to the n another eye and then put the mascara on and focus on the one eye so that's why I like to do it one at a time. go back and forth with this Essence Mascara. I'll probably do one more coat with this and then go on to the L'Oreal Mascara. Now I will move on to this. I th feel like this really just thickens them a lot. Now that I'm done with that, I just want to warm up my face a little bit. So I'm going to use a Hula Bronzer instead of the Too Faced one. So I'm going to use this. This is just the mini one because I felt like the big one was just so much. But there's the color. 
I'm going to just tap it with this. Actually, I'm going to switch my brush and I'm going to use, I like to use this one when it comes to this. Like this is more of an orange one, so I like to use bigger ones. So I'm going to use this big fluffy brush and just tap it in there a couple times and then warm up my face. And I'll go on my forehead. Okay. I am going to split. split. I am going to skip bless blush. Ooh, I cannot talk today. So I'm going to skip the blush today and move on to highlight and I'm going to do a more subtle highlight. So I'm going to do this Wet n Wild Precious Petals. So I don't think I've ever swatched it for you guys. So I thought I would do that for right now. So I feel like it's really, it's just really, really pretty and it can just, it can be a really strong highlight or it can just be a natural highlight. So I'm just going to use that what I used on my finger and just tap it on my face and then kind of blend it out with this brush. And then I'm going to tap this in there. I feel like it just can be a really strong blinding highlight or it can be a natural pretty subtle highlight. I just think it's so pretty. I'm going to take this smudge brush from Real Techniques. I love this brush. It is just, I love it for doing the under eye to smoke it out. So I'm going to take the same colors that I took on, me, on my upper lid and take these two first, this one and then this one on the bottom. Take the first one and just put it all the way across. The darker you go in color, the more you want to keep it further on the outer corner. And now I'll go under the darker color. The darker color is not that dark, so I don't need to keep it on the inner, I mean outer corner, but. Okay, now I will move on to putting the Ulta Beauty Amped Lashes on my lower lashes. I'm going to put some stuff on my lip. I love using this. It's just so natural and shiny, and I'm just so into shiny colors right now. So I'm going to put this on my lip. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I really li liked doing this. I just it's just quick and easy when you're on the go and need to hurry. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed, and I can't wait to see you guys again. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And love you guys. Bye.